hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to extend list view header using the oval component and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use the header tag in the list view please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see this auto development playlist available and once you click here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases so let's back to our main topic like how you can extend the list view header so last time if you remember once we select the record right you can see we added the one more button in the header part right in this list view without JS customization and once you click here you can see wizard will open automatically and automatically select records based on the user selection records and here like I will try to update the XYZ and now you can see it will automatically update right the same thing we also use here under the action we also use the same feature here right but now in this discussion I'm going to show you how you can also extend this button in the header part using the oval component and the js file so this is without js file which is very easy the list view already provide the one header tag but let's say if you don't want to go with this one but let's say you want to go with this option that is also available so once you click here you can see the selected record is the student is also available and here whatsoever the operations you are doing it will perform the same action so in this session i'm going to show you how you can extend the component and how to extend the js file using the oval framework so first thing is i'm going to your backend side in add-ons in the web module static src and you can see here the different views are available right the calendar the form graph kanban list pivot right now i'm going to extend the list view right and the head especially for the header part so for that so first i'm trying to extend the template of the list view so this is the common template of the list view and uh, it is managing all the buttons and all the things all the operations and all you can see in the header part right so here you can see these three templates available list view list view button and the selection right so right now we are going to extend this template and here specifically i'm trying to extend the x path and inside this condition i will try to add that button the new button which we are trying to add all right so for that let me go to in our custom module which is the student right so here i will try to create a new directory under the static src under the src i will use the xml and under the xml i will try to use here let's say list controller dot xml okay and simple here i will try to use the template right so first thing is i will try to copy these templates well actually i am trying to extend the template here right so for that like i will use the just inherit and especially this name i will use here then after t desk inherit mod which i am using as an extension xpath position would be inside and let's say i will try to 
copy this one T at the red like inside here I will try to add one more button so type equal to button class equal to btn btn primary I will add id here as a let's say school edit clause in the span tag let's have it the label name so edit school okay now i will try to register this one in the manifest file to appear here right once i select you can see this set school is here right so after this selected label i will update here one more button so for that i have to compulsory add this xml file into the assets so here like web dot assets backend so let's say the student static src xml list controller.xml so this is the full path i'm trying to add here i will try to only restart the service no need to upgrade the module and once i will refresh the screen oops there is some issue right so let's see so what is the exact issue student template name invalid inheritance mod all right so here i'm trying to i by mistakenly added the t instead of the s let's restart the service refresh the screen so you can see without any error but let me double confirm in the inspect in the console there is no any warning or error appear in the console so we are good here and once i click here you can see this edit school option is here and once i click here right it won't be do anything so here if i will go to the school and i will select here let's say, let me first create here the abv abc xyz Right, you can see here the still the button is visible here right if i'm going to the contact i'm going to the list view and once i select here you can see this button still available right so my guess is i want to only update on this wb dot student model not in any other models so for that like i will use here the one condition test if model dot root dot res model equal to equal to wb dot student right and again i'm going to here and refresh the screen now you can see this edit school is visible in the student profile let's say if i'm going to the school profile and i will select you cannot see that button right if I'm going to the let's say the cells here you cannot see that button right so basically that condition we have to apply in the header part to visible to the specific let's say the model in case you want to design such buttons as a common buttons for all the models right like this new then you can just remove this condition all right now the thing is once i will click to this button right it should be work same like this one to open this button uh, sorry this wizard to do this first thing is we have to create the js file and on the js file we have to create one method and that method we have to add here 
So for that, like I will add here jazz list controller dot jazz. Now another thing is once you design this part, right? You can see here in the main web module the list. You can see the XML file as well as the JS file is also available. And here I will try to extend this class. And this class performs the click event in the list header part. So for that, like I have to import this list controller in our JS file using the oval pod, right? So for that, sorry. import list controller from at web views list list controller after that we have to also extend this list controller so we need a patch right so the patch from at the red web code utils and patch and we have to we have to also import the use service from the let's say web code utils homes right and let's say patch here we have to provide three different parameters so the first parameter would be this one the list controller dot prototype and here we have to add any name like in our case like i will use the this is for the student profile only so i will use here like this you can also add anything right like web learns and simple here you have to extend or let's say you have to call the setup method the super setup method super dot apply and here we can add action so use service and action so once we click our button right so it will automatically open that wizard so we need action so that we can just create a one more action here and let's say here i will use wb button click event so this is our method right and uh, simple here i will use this dot action do action and simple i will use here let's say the type ir dot actions dot act underscore window name let's say mass school profile update view mod so we are using the form only target would be the new because that is the wizard right and the res model so which model we have to use right so for that so we have to use this wizard so i will copy this one and paste here after that we have to register this button to the xml file here so simple it's let's say t desk on desk click in the double quote we have to pass here this method name that's it and so this math this file we have to register in the manifest file so let me here js and js file simple restart the service let me minimize this one because we don't need at the moment once i will refresh the screen let me also inspect in case is there any spelling mistake is of so we you can see here 
would not get the content for this path right so basically this is the comma issue right you have a like multiple files it should be separate with the comma otherwise it will having an issue so once i'll refresh the screen so you can see it's says unexpected identifier this this one right so let's check out why it says like that all right so you can see here in this js file we have to press this comma sign or else it won't be work uh forgot about the spelling mistake you can see here right if we use the same name in the xml file here then it will treat as a method so once I will refresh the screen, now you can see it will work fine. Okay, so patch is not defined here, you can see. So there is some ups. Once I will refresh the screen, now you can see it seems everything is fine right now i will close this one and i will select this record and now you can see this button is visible once i click here oops we have one more error would not read property for undefined reading map all right so let me go to inspect oh shit so here like we have to use views right and here let's see the false and we have to use the form only not the list view so let's i will try to restart the service refresh the screen and let me also close this terminal now once i click here and now you can see the pop-up is display here right now another thing is once we click here right and once we click to this button you can see the default is this student 16 is available right this t 16 so we have to also do the same thing here to preload the selected values to do this we have to use here the context and we can use here default student ids right and in the list view so basically like we have to use the list and here this dot model dot root oh sorry we have to use like this this dot selection that map data point or yes id this one it will return the ids right to so we can we will store here and uh, after that it will automatically manage the odoo so let me go to the front end side and refresh the screen and once i click to this two students student 16 and 14 and now you can see 16 and 14 is available and once i click to this abc and update once i refresh the screen here and now you can see this abc is available right so like this way you can extend this button this edit school button if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session our next session would be how you can also extend this button in the form view here all right